So in the spring I made a video uh, showing uh, the finished product of my little backlight project um, I have for my commuting bike here. And I don't know how well you can tell, but um, over time the, the battery that's in there, the two batteries that are in there, um, have started to lose their charge and it's not as uh, bright as it was when I first started. So it's pretty much my first time to do a battery change now. However, during the summer I really haven't had a whole lot of opportunities to actually use my backlight. Um, I do ride this bike to and from work um, every single day, um, although it, since it's been the summer, I, I, when I leave in the morning, um, it's you know nice and bright outside, and by the time I'm coming home, it's, it's still you know nice and bright as well. Uh, so the only time that I've really used my my light on my bike um, is the odd time just just running errands. Um, I have to run an errand um, in the evening. So the easiest way to uh, access the battery compartment. Uh, which is down here, is just to flip the bike over upside down so you can get to it. So the battery pack of this system is just located right here uh, directly behind the actual light itself and it just comes off with these two uh, flathead screws. You can use a Phillips or a flathead. And then this plastic piece should just lift right off and expose my little battery pack there. Uh, now before I work on it, I'll just turn the switch off. Uh, so it does have the external switch out here, which is really handy for turning on and off uh, when I'm actually riding the bike. Um, so inside here, there's, there's really just two things. There's the, the battery pack and there's a little circuit board that I have in there, which just came from another bike light. Uh, that I got from the dollar store, which is what I'm just using uh, to get the flashing circuit uh, to happen. Um, so inside of here I've got some padding, uh, so just, just some little pieces of foam in there, just to keep this from, you know, rattling around, uh, the battery pack from rattling around too much when, I, you know, when I'm riding uh, over bumps or if I take it, you know, on a little dirt path or something like that. Uh, so the battery pack is just uh, like attached like that, I just got a, a single wire which attaches onto there and it just takes uh, two AA batteries. Um, underneath this foam pad um, on the inside here uh, is where that circuit board is. Uh, so I'm just gonna pull these batteries out and I just remember they are a little bit uh, tricky to get out uh, just by hand so I'll just use my my screwdriver a little bit to help them. Uh, so there's one battery out and the other one. And now our two fresh new alkaline batteries uh, to put back in their place and they go in easier than they came out just like so now if I just try and turn on the switch um, immediately to try and turn it on um, you'll see it's not lighting up uh, that's because the circuit board uh, needs you to uh, select which uh, function you're going to use uh, for the flashing mechanism so out of this side of the junction box you can see that there's two little wires that come out of there and that's something that I added as an afterthought uh, to the original design. Um, these wires are something that connects up to the circuit board uh, which activates a momentary switch in there uh, which tells the, uh, tells the circuit board uh, which function to do because it does have three different functions for the lights. Um, there's a blinking one, the, the main blinking one that I use. Uh, there's another kind of a funny blinking one. Uh, there's the solid on one and then there's just off obviously. Um, so basically I added this because I didn't want to have to open up uh, the box every time I wanted to change the function even though I'm pretty much always using the same one anyways. Um, but uh, yeah, all these, these two wires just kind of come out here and they don't connect to anything. Uh, the reason for that is I was going to put a momentary switch on there um, but I didn't really have one that I thought would be good that I could leave outside to get wet and stuff. Um, so all it is is just two wires and when I touch them together um, it acts the same way um, as a momentary switch. So I'll just demonstrate that now. Uh, by touching them it should go into the first mode like that. So that's the funny blinking mechanism I was talking about. It's like blink 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 and then it's off. And then blink 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 and then it's off. So just that's kind of pattern. Um, not really the pattern that I want. The, ne the next pattern is the one that I want. So if I just uh, gently tap them together one more time and there it is. That's the one that I want uh, which is just the you know on off on off on off at a pretty uh, rapid uh, speed um, and if I do press them again one more time it'll, it'll go to the solid on uh, the solid on red 
like that. And I can already see that these lights are significantly more bright than they were with the old batteries in there. Um, you know, the old batteries, they still had, you know, quite a bit of life left in them. Um, although, with something like this, when it's a safety feature, it's really important to have, you know, it to be as bright as you possibly can get it. Um, so that, you know, the cars are going to see you when you're, when you're riding on the road. So with the way that I wired up this circuit, if I leave it on the function that I want, um, I don't need to touch the side of the bike. All I can just press is the on-off switch, which is on the other side. So I'll just put it in the, the blinking one that I want which is that one there, and then I'll just make sure I separate these wires uh, so they're far apart so they're not going to touch each other. And now when I turn the on-off switch on and off, it still stays as the blinking mechanism. So now I'll just put all these things back together again so the battery pack just slides right in there, uh, you know, firmly held by those pieces of foam. And then this thing goes on, which has the nice uh, foam gasket around it, which, you know, keeps all the water out of there. Um, I can tell that it's it stayed very dry inside of there, which I'm I'm happy about, obviously, because this bike has been left out in the rain uh, lots and lots of times. I'd ride this bike to work, and you know to do all sorts of errands around the city, um, so it does get you know its fair share of weather. So I'll just tighten up this screw here. This box really ended up working really well with the wheel here uh, because it gives me you know, access to get to these two screws really easily um, on either side of the wheel. You know, it doesn't get in the way at all. Well, I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but from where I'm sitting this light looks an awful lot more bright, so I'm really glad uh, that I got around to changing those batteries. Um, as we get into the fall, it's going to start getting uh, darker in the evenings you know, quite a bit earlier, and uh, as well in the mornings it might be bright um, some mornings when I get up early. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.